There are many phone manufacturers who will charge you £1,000 for a flagship these days, but that doesn't mean you have to pay that to get a good quality phone. In fact, here I have the Xiaomi Mi 10T Lite, a phone that packs in many flagship style specs for a lot less. One of the interesting things about this phone is that it supports 5G. Now, there are a lot of phones on the market that support 5G, but not at this price point. In fact, this is probably the best value 5G phone you can buy right now. It also has a dual SIM card, so I guess you could, if you really wanted to, have 5G on two networks. So if you work in London, you can choose any network you want. But at home, you may only have someone like EE or Vodafone where it actually has 5G in your area. Not every network has 5G everywhere, so that's a really useful feature. This phone is made out of plastic, and while that's not exactly a premium material, it doesn't feel cheap. It also has premium materials that you would usually find on more expensive phones. That includes Corning Gorilla Glass 5, which is both on the front and the back of this phone. This phone comes in three different colors, Atlantic Blue, Pearl Gray, and Rose Gold Beach. Here we have the Atlantic Blue, and do you know what? It's a nice looking phone. The one thing you don't get is water resistancy, and personally that's super important to me. It actually comes in handy when I'm by the river, not that I'm planning on swimming with my phone anytime soon. However, that trade-off is okay because you have a 3.5mm headphone jack, and that's super important for a phone at this price point. Not everyone can afford wireless headphones, so having a wired option is super useful. However, if you don't want to use headphones, there's some good news too. This has stereo speakers, and they're actually good. I think every phone should have stereo speakers and not just one at the bottom. I am a bit miffed that the speakers aren't both on the front. There is one at the bottom. So my hand does cover it every now and then, but it's not the end of the world. They still sound pretty great. Now let's talk about the 6.7 inch display. It's ginormous. For me, that's really good because I love consuming content on YouTube, Netflix, and Disney+. But that's not the exciting thing about this phone. What is truly remarkable is Xiaomi have managed to pack in a 120 hertz screen. And that is completely unheard of at this price point. To save on this phone's battery life, Xiaomi has got some software features that limit that 120 hertz. It actually goes down to as little as 60 hertz when you're doing something like looking at a static screen or watching a film. You know, you don't need 120 hertz all the time and that really saves on battery life. The resolution is Full HD+. It's nothing exciting, but it looks detailed enough. On a screen this size, you may notice pixels, but only if you're peeping. This phone has 450 nits of brightness, which isn't the brightest screen I've seen, but it's plenty for daytime use. It's kind of a sunny day, and I can still see the screen just fine. One thing Xiaomi has included, though, is reading mode 3.0. That allows you to tweak the colour temperature or make this phone screen look more like paper. That's ideal if you're using Kindle ebook reader or whatever ebook reader you'd like to use. For a phone at this price point, there are a lot of cameras. Five to be exact. Four on the back and one at the front. The main camera is a wide angle 64 megapixel lens and pictures look pretty great. In fact, I was blown away by some of the pictures on this phone. You can see we have quite nice scenery to take photos in, and it makes everything look great. There's also an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and for me, it's fine. It's not as good as the main camera, but it still looks good. The 2 megapixel macro camera isn't exactly a lot of megapixels, but I still was able to get enough dynamic range and some great shots from it. There's also one more lens on the back, and it's not one you're gonna be shooting with. It's a two megapixel depth sensor. Now, what that does is it improves low light photography by helping you focus. It's doing a pretty good job, to be fair, but it's not the best low light camera on the market. You know, there are phones with better low light camera modes using special AI, but this is good enough, especially at this price point. One of my favorite things about Xiaomi's cameras is its software. 
Its pro mode is probably my favorite around. You can change everything from white balance to manual focusing to the shutter speed, the ISO. You can do metering and most importantly, you can shoot in RAW. Oh, and did I mention you can do focus peaking? It's pretty phenomenal. It gives you so many tools at your fingertips. Plus, with the Xiaomi Mi 10T Lite, you have a ton of other tools. That includes a long exposure mode, time-lapse selfie, time burst, and dual video. This phone ships with Xiaomi's Mi UI 12. And thanks to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 750G processor, everything feels really snappy. However, I will mention that this comes with Android 10 and not Android 11. Xiaomi has said on Twitter, however, that this phone's predecessor will be getting Android 11 very shortly. So that bodes well for the Xiaomi Mi 10T Lite. This phone is not a flagship. That 750G processor is not the top of the line. However, you really wouldn't see that because this phone is blisteringly fast. In fact, I benchmarked it against a phone with the 765G and this beat it. That's impressive, especially considering this price point. The one thing I really like about this phone is its gaming performance. I'm not much of a mobile gamer, but playing Sonic on this has been a blast. And that's because of the 120 Hertz refresh rate. Everything feels buttery smooth. And I'm not even exaggerating. I couldn't imagine playing a game in 60 Hertz ever again. Also impressive is the battery life. Now, I've always drummed on about how important charging speeds are in comparison to the size of the battery. And Xiaomi has done good on that. It's included a 33 watt charger in the box. Not a lot of phones at this price point can do that. In fact, I wanted to test how fast this phone would charge to 50%. I found it took around half an hour. The only problem is I really tried to kill this phone. It's got a 4,820 milliamp hour battery and I can assure you it's not easy to kill. In fact, I was playing games, recording video, doing everything I can to drain this battery. And you know what? It just kept going. Unlike last year, however, there is no wireless charging. That could be a deal breaker for some. For me, I would prefer it, but at this price point, I'm not gonna complain. Now, let's talk about price. I don't actually know the UK price yet. We can find that out together on Monday. However, this is 259 euros. And at that price, this is shaping up to be the best value 5G phone you can buy here in the UK. Make sure you tune in to Xiaomi's UK launch event on Monday, October 19th at 2 p.m. to check out more about this exciting phone. So there we have it, the Xiaomi Mi 10T Lite full review here on the BTEC YouTube channel. I'm Jordan and I would love to see you again. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to make sure we see you next time. Thanks.